All right, have and have not fans. This video is about, I don't even know what to say, Candace Young. I mean, honestly, she's up to her old ways and is getting kind of old at this point because she's been through so much, but she hasn't learned a lesson coming close to near death, finding out her son was alive. And it's pretty much a full circle with this character. It's just, you know, she goes, loses everything, comes up from nothing, gets everything she ever wanted to a degree, lose it, it loses it again. Because again, as Hannah said, getting everything you want due to ill means or ill, what's, what's the term? Ill gotten gains. You'll lose as quickly as you got it. And that's pretty much Candace Young's life in a nutshell. And Oscar did make a good point. It's like, hey, you're not messing with thugs or judges. This is the big leagues. And I believe that with her trying to mess around with a potential presidential candidate. And I feel like Oscar or, you know, pretty much not being who he said he was pretty much put it this way. Oscar was like the first person that Candace truly opened up to and almost fell for. And because it turned out to be a lie, she's not going to be trusting to anybody ever again. I, I mean, I strongly doubt that there's going to be anybody who can break down her walls because I feel like she's going to be more protective of herself than ever. And it's going to take a great force to even try to knock down those walls again. Because again, if you look at everything she's been through between the time she found out um, Oscar was a fraud to where she is now with uh, Charles. Yeah. I highly doubt that there's going to be anybody soon. Who's going to be able to crack her code, if you will. So when I look at Charles and uh, Candace and I feel like the internet blew up with a uh, negative comments about Charles right away. Not necessarily his character, but the whole, Hey, a potential presidential candidate just sitting in the bar by himself, a, a potential presidential candidate just going to his room and having set well, going to her room, having sex with a woman. He met at a bar that's clearly dressed like a prostitute. And he, he pretty much read her for what she was right away. Of course, you know, Candace being Candace, played it off with the help of Oscar. And if you, I even tweeted this and it, it got a lot of retweets and whatnot. And I always think of Oscar at this point of the series, kind of like that annoying paperclip. You remember back in the day when Microsoft word uh, first came out and like, whenever, you know, you're doing like uh typing a paper or something that annoying paperclip will come out of nowhere. It's like, Hey, do you need any help? When you clearly know what you're doing, when you know everything you need to know, but then that paperclip still comes out of nowhere. Hey, you need to do this. Like, no, go away, paperclip. That's Oscar because Candace knows what she's doing. Yes, she does need help because, again, without Oscar, she wouldn't have the room. She wouldn't have, you know, some of the pretty much she wouldn't have the necessary resources. All she got from Erica was that dress. But she still needed a place to stay, you know, and kind in order to, uh, um, I could say, extend the charade. So whether and, and again she pretty much went in that room and took away all the cameras because she knows what she's doing because she's done this before this isn't her first time at the rodeo so i guess you could say the point of this video is do you really think it's believe because again I, I looked at the haves and the have not facebook page tyler perry's page twitter and whatnot as well as youtube comments people really aren't buying the whole charles situation in terms of a potential presidential candidate wouldn't be caught in that situation because again, he would have guards and whatnot protect him. And I kind of agree. I feel like it's way too easy for the plot to kind of go that way. It's put it this way. It's almost like a R Kelly's trapped in the closet. I think I'll make this analogy in another video. I'll do about that plot of the haves and have nots, you know, where the, when uh trapped in the closet first came out, it was like a big deal. When did it come out? Like 2005, I think where you were like, you would tune in like every week for the next episode, chapter two, chapter three. And it's all about like relationship drama, uh, homosexuality, homosexuality, uh, midgets. And then you get to the point where, uh, Tuan and Sylvester are dealing with gangsters and whatnot. And you're like, wait, wait what does this have to do with like the first couple of chapters? And then we pretty much go on hiatus for a number of years before we get more chapters. That's almost like the haves and the have nots where you follow the plot from the beginning and it's really good. And then it just diverts into a path you never saw coming in. It's like, wait, 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 why, why are we going down this road when we still haven't finished that trail over there? That's what that's what the show really feels like to a lot of people. And the whole Charles thing is like he he made a good point. It's like, you know what? If you blackmail me and I lose, you're really screwing over a lot of people because I am a good man, which I do believe he is. And he was caught in a moment of weakness because, as Candace said, you know, every man has needs. And she did that little lap dance move and led him to the bed. And honestly, I don't even know if I could have fought that off myself. So I feel that she is really screwing over a lot of people as well as herself. And 
honestly, seeing them together makes sort of almost good sense because I believe she was Michelle Obama and that uh, Barack Obama bio pick that was made, uh, I believe, last year. So I feel like that's a cool way of throwing that back into the half and the half knots where Tinka Sumner was, hey, you know what? You were uh, playing Michelle Obama. Guess what? We'll do a similar situation in the haves and the have nots. And in this case, um, the fact that she was pregnant in real life by the um, actor that plays uh, Justin on the show, I wonder if that's going to be played into. I actually talked about this in another video. Uh, will she be pregnant on the show by, you know, Warlock, Oscar, or Dan? What if it's Charles? That would be the quote unquote best way to blackmail him if she's having the baby of a president or uh, potential presidential candidate. And I feel like. The fact that she hasn't learned a lesson is definitely going to come back to bite her because she keeps elevating the situation. It's like she gets out of one situation by the skin of her teeth and then she puts herself in an even worse situation than when she was, you know, what she was in to begin with. And we know that Warlock isn't done with her yet, so there's no telling what's going to happen now. So I really hope that the plot kind of diverts pretty soon because it is getting kind of old because I know that's who Candace is. This is what she does. But at the same time, I just want something new and refreshing because I even made a video about, you know, is there good in Candace? And I do believe there is good where if she took her conniving ways and put that energy to law school, she would be one of the best lawyers who can probably, and I dare say, even rival Jim and, uh, you know, Veronica and David if she really applied herself and put her mind to it. So with that being said, I just want to bring this video to a close and kind of go over the whole situation. Uh, do you think that Charles and will get the best of Candace? Will you think Candace will eventually fall for Charles or something of that, you know, to, you know, of that, um, that storyline? Because again, I really do feel like a lot of fans really aren't buying what's going on right now. So again, I want to bring this video to a close. Let me know your thoughts on the Charles and Candace situation. Well, you know, if Quincy Jr. is dead or mortally wounded, do you think that's actually going to get her attention away from that? Or do you think she's just going to stick up her guns and just go on from there?